Morning. You all right? How's it going? I was going to say, you must be cold just underneath there, mate. Hello. How are you, all right? <clears throat> Haven't seen you out for a while. Where have you been getting your head down? Living on the streets is not easy. That's, uh... Try to find somewhere where you're not going to be disturbed is a hard bit. You're always getting moved on. You know, you, get, you come across people that you think are going to help you, and that you, they don't help you. They're out to get for themselves. Cardboard boxes, you know, flattened down. I just got under that. You've got one eye open and one eye shut. Possessions, you're leaving around people, this, that and the other, and gradually they begin smaller and smaller because you can't carry them about, and then people, you know, you start off with quite a lot, you end up with quite a little. I was living in tents, sheds, sofas, <laughs> there, there and everywhere. That was just too hard, I thought, I can't cope, I don't want to carry on anymore. And I had my little dog when she was put to sleep. You know, I thought, oh, I want to go with her. And then they said, would you accept a place in St Martin's? I thought about it for a little while and I said yes. And really, that's the best thing I've ever done. St Martin's is more than a home for the homeless. We don't just want to give a roof over the head. We need to give them hope, trust, safety enable them to realise that they are still part of the human race. My early life was brilliant. Sport rotten, went to a good school, went skiing holidays with school, didn't want for nothing. I worked hard all my life, I earned loads of money, I had everything. But I all went to work on a Monday. I used to work hard all week, go raving, take loads of pills, then take loads of coke, take loads of crack, and smoke my heroin about four and a half years ago, and then boom, here I am. Families break up, people lose jobs, people can't afford to pay the rent. Addiction, substances and gambling. I got released from prison in um, September 2012. I needed email addresses, this and the other. I had no ideas about computers, so my probation officer, she suggested I use them um, under one roof. St Martin's enabled me to get onto the computers. And doing this, Time, I noticed that there was a yoga class every Tuesday dinner time and keeping fit has always been something I've managed to do which I'm sure is why I'm still alive now even in my darkest days I still manage to go swimming or do something so that was another that was another gift from St Martin. Now being homeless and or having an addiction is a full-time job in itself so when things start to fall back into place they have a lot of time that they need to fill. I was getting more and more into the wildlife. I've always been into bird watching as a kid. At the back of Under One Roof, the river along there, I was spending a lot of the time there. And I was noticing, you know, the, the local otters and kingfishers. And so uh, the centre decided to lend me a little compact camera to try and get a picture of them. Finally getting a shot of a kingfisher with a two and a half time zoom compact camera was better for me than having any hit of smack and cocaine I've ever taken in my life. St Martin's have, have helped me loads, do you know what I mean? To give me a roof over my head and now a volunteer job. <laughs> but yes, um, this is my safe haven. We've created eight volunteer roles. We give them the chance to apply for that role as they would any other job. So it's given them skills applying for jobs and interviews. At St Martin's we describe ourselves as being tenacious. So we don't let go, we don't give up. Even when people have left St Martin's, if they need to come back to us, we're not going to say you don't live here anymore. It's cut, yes, fine, we help, we help. We're there as long as our clients need us. In like four and a half years, I'm back here now, and it's been a year and I've sort of got my head together a little bit. They've been really good for me, they've supported me but I've had to put a bit of work into it. 
You can't just go, I don't want to do what you want to do. You've got to listen to what they say, because they, they took sense. So I've been jumping through the loopholes and stuff. They've gave me a move on flat. There's like, I think there's six flats. You've got your own flat. And, you know, I mean, they're lovely flats as well. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they're lovely, big, spacious and stuff like that. At least you can go home and open your door and shut it. Sit down. Happy days. What's a bit of telly? It's simple as that, man. I mean, I don't think people really actually realise what having a front door key is all about. We have an older client group who are, are poorly. Living on the streets does not give you the best of health. So we have Webster Court where we can provide almost end of life care. So these clients that know they're unwell can be at peace. They know they're safe, they know they're looked after, they know that somebody cares about them. And I think that's, that's the best thing we can do for some of our guys, is allow them the dignity to live out the rest of their days without any issues or problems. That means to me that I'm safe. I'm comfortable, nobody can enter and I get a comfortable night's sleep. You can ask for a better place. If someone is on the streets and they do feel that this is it, it's hopeless, this is never going to change, we look at St Martin's as a ladder. They're not on that ladder yet, but we are that first rung and we will do everything we can from the Pathways team going out and saying hello, checking they're okay, to them moving them into accommodation. We will get them there. We will do what we can to make them feel human again. If you're out there on your own, you've got no, not a lot of chance really, but in here, you have got a chance. You, and you feel human again, because you can wash, you've got a bed, you know, and you've got, there's a kitchen. You do, you just seem to be like a person again. To be truthful, St Martin's is like my family, truthfully. St Martin's have changed my whole life, yeah. I, I wouldn't be here without them, that's the truth.